This is the part three of building a church management system using artificial intelligence. All right. So in the previous part, I walk you guys through the documentation of the project. All right. So the functionality of the project we wanted to build, the church management system we wanted to build. I walk you guys through all the documentation if we prepared, and we are going to use it to develop our application. Okay so um one thing i want you guys to know is that i've made some changes in the application you are going to use okay initially in the first part of the video we installed this application over here okay we install it that is the free application that we are going to use but because it is free application sometimes there's a lot of traffic on it and then the models run very slow so I want that to start with Winsor, okay, which is a paid application, but they have a trial version with a free prompt that they can give us to get started with. And then when we start and then we exhaust our prompt, then we move to the free one that we continue to build from there. Don't worry, it's the same model we are going to use, so it doesn't make any changes, okay? All right, so when you register, you're going to get two weeks trial and then you're going to get 25 prompts per month, okay, which we can use it to start our application, all right? so uh, one thing i want you guys to do is that try and then download it over here all right just download it and install it okay the installation is straightforward all right so after you've installed it come to the website okay let me go back after you install it come to the website click on this icon over here and then you register with your gmail account all right so i'm going to register with my gmail account over here all right so i'm going to register with my gmail account and then you continue okay so um when you register with your gmail account if you want to see your usage okay you just come to usage over here when you click inside you will see that uh, we have 0.0, .0 prompt out of 25 okay so as you are using it the pro the progress bar will be moving then it's telling you the prompt you view so you just pay attention to that all right so if you install the the wins application it will welcome you to this screen so just press on get started and then you are going to start as fresh and they are going to use you press next and they are going to select your team and then you go next and then you click on log in all right just click on game and then this one is going to log us in into our application okay so i'm going to be redirected and then it's going to log us in. so just click on it like this and then you can clearly see that you have been successful log into the application okay the first thing we have to do is that we are going to bring our folder into our project folder into the application as we did with the previous one so just click on open folder and then we'll you guys remember we put it under uh, your c drive click on your c drive and then look for x amp okay click on x amp we did this in our previous video already our first video and then look for uh h h docs just click inside and then if our project folder is called church so just click it and select it okay so the project folder is going to be loaded into here okay so just click on yes i trust the author and then you can see here that our project folder is located here is empty is located here okay so um what we have to do here is that we need to refer our documentation to the ai so that it can follow it through the development process so what we have to do is have to see documentation file and you load it into the application directory okay so this is the documentation file i have saved so i'm going to load it into the project directory over here okay so i save it inside my desktop so let me quickly look for it this is it and then let me drag and drop it inside the project directory over here all right so we have the the, the readme or the documentation there the ai is going to follow into our project directory okay and then those of you guys who want to connect github to the applications we have it over here a source control kit everything is here so you can easily connect to github and then you can upload the code into the github repository okay so um this model is similar okay so what you have to do here is that we have the right and the chart over here is it's tiny you have the right just like as i said in the earlier videos that the right is just uh, 
the coding and then the chat is just for uh, normal chat asking questions suggestion and any other things you can do that okay so um what we wanted to do here is that we are going to have we have the models we are going to use here okay we have the chat gp to 4.1 model i think this is the new model that we just introduced and then we have plot 3.7 and then and they have plot 3.7 thinking so net thinking and they have the plot 3.5 over here okay so what we are going to use for the project is cloud 3.7 okay the next thing we wanted to do here is to refer our document to the ai okay so the so what we have to do is i have to press on control a add okay you want to bring the add button to attach our file to the ai so you click on the files over here and then you click on the this file over here so now we've attached our documentation to the ai to use it okay so right now we need to prompt it so make sure that you have your ai your your, your model selected to the right not chat okay make sure that you have your model selected to the right and so the next thing we are going to do here is that we are going to uh, prompt the ai to start building our application okay so i've gone ahead to prepare this prompt over here all right so let me see over here okay so this is the prompt i'm going to use for the AI to start developing our application, okay. So I ask the AI to act as a senior software developer, okay. So using the attached documentation as your primary reference, design and develop a modern, advanced church management system strictly for use by church administrators. Adhere to best coding practice, including clean architecture, modular structure, and then reusable components, okay. So you guys can also copy the same uh, 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 prompt and then you just paste it here like this, okay? So right now we are set for our development, okay? All right, so one more thing is that make sure that your your uh, your server is running, okay? Open your app, uh, your exam server, you can just search in the search bar and then you open it. You are going to get an interface like this. Just click on the start button for the Apache to start running and then click on the second one my ice cream L and then click on yes for it to also start running so one more thing I will say before I press on I'll press on enter for the AI to start developing is that this is artificial intelligence okay this application you see over here all right I didn't develop it by using one prompt I use series of prompts to achieve this results okay so the AI does mistake it will write a code it will be error you have a way you have to fix it okay so don't expect that with one prompt the ai is going to generate everything complete like this no it doesn't work like that okay you need to really understand what you're, you you are looking for then the ai is going to help you develop it okay so you are going to take your time to read through the instruction the ai is going to give you you need to take your time to really understand your project so that you can direct the ai to to the right path so that it can help you build whatever you want okay so bear in mind that this is ai and it is not perfect it can do a lot of mistakes so as we have built i'm going to show you guys some of the advanced prompts i use to solve complex errors that come on my way okay so um so what we have to do next is to just press on this icon here that says send or you press enter so when you click on it like this the ai is start is going to start helping us to build the project okay so you can see that uh, the AI have started thinking anything. You guys can see that it's analyzing our project documentation. Okay, the church, the church read me the documentation. You can see the analyze the project documentation over here, and then it's going to actually go through everything. All right. So when something like this pop up, you need to click on accept for it to keep going. Okay. So the AI have analyzed our documentation and then it's trying to start doing something for us. Okay okay and then just follow through it okay so if you are doing this you need to be reading the the, the prompt or whatever the ai is saying you need to be reading it and be following it because sometimes to ask you to do one or two things that you need to be there to do it okay so you need to follow it and then you let it develop the application for you so we are just waiting and i'll be pausing the videos along the line so that videos wouldn't be too long okay i only come in when uh, uh, we have achieved a certain stage or there is something that i want you guys to show so this they try what you started doing okay so let's wait and see what the ai will do for us all right 
all right so um we are still developing the ai is still working on a project for us okay so you can you guys can see that a lot of things have gone on here okay so i need to accept this all right so one thing i want you guys to see is that when you come to the project directory over here you can see that the app have created a various folders for the application and then uh we have we have populated the, the the application with the necessary files as you are building okay so this is the project structure that we are going to follow all right so everything has been set up and then we've started building the application okay so the code is nicely organized across the various folders inside the application as you guys can see on your screen nicely organized okay, we have kick started with the development so we are waiting for the basic structure of the application to be developed so when the ai is done with the basic structure of the application i'm going to run it guys for you to guys so you can see that now the ai is going to create a database for the church management system okay based on the documentation we've given it and then uh, when it's done it's going to let me know and then uh, i'll provide you guys or uh, we are going to run the application to see where we have reached okay the application is running like this you can easily be checking your credits over here to see how far your usage is gone so let's check how far our credits have been used okay since we received a warning from them that we have used okay so you can see that we've just used one prompt over here okay you just use one prompt and then we have 24 more to go all right and then it's building nicely okay so if you actually know how to prompt very well you wouldn't use much credit okay let me pause the video here then when there is something i need to show you guys i'll come back to it okay since the ai is still running the application okay okay so let's check the progress of the application all right so um you guys can see that a lot have been done all right so let's quickly check what the ai has done for us okay then from there we can see the next step what to do okay so um we can see here that the ai have uh, done a really good job all right so these are the things the database structure have been created by the ai the security implementation has been done as we specify in the in the in the, in the documentation the api architecture has been set and then and the, the front end setup tool is complete okay all right so we, we have the core functionality of the application have been said so the next step the what the ai wanted to implement is what is here so all what we have to do is tell it to continue all right so we can also check the project to see how far with the development okay so if you want to run your project okay what you have to do here is that launch the browser make sure that your xamp okay is running the apache and then the mysql is running and then you come here and then open any browser of your choice and just type on localhost okay when you get a localhost make sure that there is a forward slash and then type the name of the project folder inside your xamp so our project folder is called church okay you click inside it and then this is the project we are running here all right since the application is still developing we don't have any page to show yet but this is how the project page look like okay you can see that the project directory all the files that is in the folder have shown over here okay since the project is still under development uh, we don't have any page to see yet okay so all what you have to tell the ai is to continue I just type in continue and the ai is going to start or keep developing it okay so uh, let's wait and then let's see how it's going to go so i'm going to pause here and then i'll come your way again if there is something i need to show you guys or draw your attention to